What's going on everybody? It's finally time to customize this Gravity MP. I got a brand new, here we go. Got the big fella here as well. Got a brand new Gravity MP here. I want to see if I can get it somewhere close to the Gravity Pro that I really liked, but it had an 18 by 20, which is not my style at all. I want to make this heavier. Uh, I need a little plow through. It's 295 grams unstrung. That's a, too light for me. Let's go ahead and see. 296, not bad at all hit. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna honor Coach Patrick here. We're gonna try with a leather grip on and add a little lip tape, probably at uh, three and nine and see how that works out. So let's remove this replacement grip first. Replacement grip taken off. So the grip itself, that 15, 16 grams, just in the handle. We'll go ahead, put the leather grip on. I don't even remember if I've tried a leather grip maybe once back in the day, but Coach Patrick just won't shut up about how awesome it is. So I thought let's give the kid a chance. We'll put on the leather grip in my next customization. If you want to try to customize your own racket, start slowly. Maybe add five, six gram total, which is like, let's say four grams in the handle and two in the head, and then just go from there. I've played for so long and I kind of know already what I like, which is, uh, on the cord around 330, definitely no more than 340 grams as it is. Let's see how it goes with this racket and if we have to make any adjustments. We got the leather grip on, nice and snug. Looks pretty good, we'll make, looks like an old school racket. Now let's see what that does to the weight. So overall we added about five grams of total. Thought it was gonna be a little bit more. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put an overgrip on. Let's go ahead and weigh it with the overgrip. There we go, 305. So we're definitely gonna add some more weight to it in the head now. I got four five inch long strips of the Alette tape from Turner. We're gonna put that on, should be around five grams. We're gonna add that to three and nine and see how that works. All done. Actually complements the racket quite a well. I like it. Let's see what we got here. Weigh it, 310, very nice. Next thing is to get this thing strung up and we're going to go with the Loxilon Elbow Power Soft. Since I got a lot of injuries and arthritis in my joints, I can still play with this one. I just like the element and not uh, get pain in my wrist or elbow, so. Full bed of this, 44 pounds, and of course, the greatest shock absorber of all time. Let's go, Pete. This looks really good. I mean, I'm almost setting myself up for failure here. I love the way this racket looks, the way it feels holding it, uh, the paint job, the matte finish. I really wanna like this racket. Let's go ahead and weigh it. The final weight is, with everything, 328, 327, 328. Cannot wait to try this. All I need now is uh, to find a legend to hit with. Let's go. First thing I noticed with this beefed up version of the Gravity MP was the crazy action I got compared to the Gravity Pro. The 16 by 20 string pattern fit my game just so much better than the 18 by 20. So love that. Also, it could handle a much more power and pace from my opponent than the regular 295 gram version. So much stronger feel when returning a heavy ball. The flexibility also got juiced up a bit, which I like, so quite a bit better feel and responsiveness than, for example, the lighter version or the Radical line, which is more a mute and dead feel. In my opinion, this Gravity line is a better all-round racket for players who throws in a little bit of everything. The Radicals are a little bit more suited for aggressive baseliners who rip the shit out of every ball. In regards to volleys, it felt great and I could control it nicely. Now, the bigger and wider sweet spot on the gravity line does give you a weird pop. So like basically you can feel like you're hitting it perfectly in the middle of the racket, but the ball just takes off. And when you look up, you missed it like five, six feet long. So a little bit unusual, but I didn't mind it as much since I use shorter ranges in my game overall. Just keep that in mind if you're thinking of choosing the gravity line for the first time. The serves was okay. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. I did get a little bit more pop on this than the pro version. So that was a plus. However, the radical or the extremes, for example, I get a lot more action on the serves than the gravity. Now it did feel a little bit too swing heavy for my liking, but I wanted to get as much power as possible and then dial it down. So after this session, I went ahead and added about six to seven grams of silicone or sealant in the handle. I had some laying around in my garage, so I got the weight 
pretty much right on where the pro version would be. And it's real easy, remove the butt cap and add the amount of silicone needed. And the stables in that grip, as you can see here, will act as hooks or clamps for that filling and it will keep it in place. Then you just close it back up and you're all set. And sorry, I didn't get to film it when I put in the silicone in my racket, but it is super easy, trust me. I'm back on the court and this time I have Lindsay with me. We're actually prepping for regionals. And by the time I'm editing this video now, she did qualify for state. Lindsay, awesome job. The racket felt more balanced now with the added weight under the butt cap, but I still got that wild action and spin on the groundies. Yes, the ball still fly here and there, right? Absolutely. But I would rather have that than feel like I have to force the action and muscle the power. If you take huge cuts and you have fast swings, you'll like the pro version better with the denser 18 by 20 string pattern. Just gives it a bit more control and less power. But if you like that extra action like I do, you would much rather get the Gravity MP and customize it similar to this. Volleys is the only area I would pick the Gravity Pro over this new custom Gravity MP. You just get a little bit better solidness and feel with the 18 by 20 and the thinner frame of the Gravity Pro than compared to my custom Gravity MP. So where does this rank among my favorites? I would say tied for third right now with my custom Yonex V-Core Pro. They both have solid control but added pop. My top two remain my custom Extreme Tour which has a nice comfortable feel and flex but i can still get pop on it when i need to and the sweet spot is definitely more reliable than this custom gravity mp and then of course we have the battle up pure drive tour just a complete and maniac powerhouse i mean i can just kind of swing slow and still generate a ridiculous amount of power and spin so you gotta love that Overall, I would probably not choose the leather grip going forward, but instead keep the regular replacement grip on. Uh, just add some weight under that grip, which I have done with my other custom sticks. The leather grip just makes the handle itself very edgy and I prefer a little bit rounder and smoother feel. So sorry coach, the leather grip just sucks. Let me know in the comments what you prefer weight wise and also have you customized your own racket or is this a frame you would want to try? See you all next time. Thanks for watching, take care.